restored. All primary systems online. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't recording my reaction to it, but what can I say? It was definitely not what I was expecting. Welcome to our new base, is the way I was planning on starting this new set of episodes <laughs> before that happened. I have moved us to a different grassy plateau biome. Uh, yeah, I put in windows so it's beautiful out there. And as you can see, as I was building my base, which I was doing in the dark, so I didn't see it, there's a wreck over there that we can explore, and there's also down there another life pod, which is life pod 8, which is a life pod that we have not uh, explored yet. So I have a list of things that I want to try and get done, at least some of it, because I've only got maybe like two hours, a little under two hours actually, to record today. So... I have a list of things that we're gonna do, and the first thing on the list is we're gonna listen to these new messages. I think I have two on here now, and I've been holding off listening to them until I was recording again. So, here we go. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. Oh, shit. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's computer. We're going computer. To sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows- A sandwich run, really? Captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The code. Regular. She's like, what's the regular? <laughs> the code should be two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay, we should just play ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> oh, that's brand new. Not even read the text of that before. Meet you halfway. I'm kind of not able to do that at this point. Thank you. I'm kind of straight up fucked, see? <sighs> but anyway, okay. So that was the first thing on the list was to listen to the messages. So check. And I also discovered that I don't need bladder fish to make water. In fact, that is a very inefficient way to make water. I need bleach, which I can use... Uh, I can craft with salt and uh, the the tube coral samples, which as you can see, I have a lot of in here. These are the tube coral samples right here. So I got a bunch. I am good on water. I'm really good on water. I'm really good on food. I have a new base and yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go, go down and explore that life pod right now. Hi raw there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. I don't need my flashlight on at this moment in time. We're gonna head over here. And see life pod eight, cause I or is that six? I think it's six, actually. Life pod six. Do I have a message from life pod six? Excuse me. Oh god. I have three, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. I don't have a message for life pod six. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Let's see. Oh, and then I, at one point when I was exploring, give it to me. Too. Integrating new PDA data. Mm, oh, sure, thanks for the lead. Uh, there's flares in there. I don't need to take those, but they're here in case I need them right next to my base, so you know what? They can stay there. It's fine. Uh, it was recommended that I do another self scan at some point. So, and I didn't do it because I wanted to save it for when I did it on camera. Oh, and also I was going to read that log. Hold on. gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oh, that sucks. Of all the ways you can die on this planet, that sucks. That is unfortunate. So, that one exploded. Awesome. Self-scan! Nothing new. Just I'm I'm just straight up infected at this point. Cool. That's good to know. Okay. Well, we explored that. Now the things that I want to build are I want a laser cutter so I can explore more wrecks. I want to build a multi-purpose room. The uh the 
fragments of which are actually directly below us at this moment. I also am in desperate need of a modification station, because that's how I make my new fins, as well as any modifications for weapons or even my vehicles at this point, so that would be incredibly useful. And yeah. Tools. Laser cutter! Alright! Got it. Now we're gonna go and explore that wreck in the dark because we're intelligent individuals. Oh god. Alright, here we go. It's just this way. There it is. Looming in the darkness. Is this the one that I could cut the door in? I don't think we've explored this at all yet. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's quartz and titanium here for- Oh god, for future reference. Let's see what we can find in here. Is that an entry point? This is when things get stressful, because you have to go in, explore, and get back out before you drown. Ow. Fuck off, sand shark! You're a nuisance and I don't like you! Get out of here, you schizophrenic freak! Thank you, Jesus Christ. There's gotta be a way to get in here. Oh, and I think that's it right there. Are you really gonna do this? Stay there. Ooh, that might be a fragment. You are really making my life difficult here, sir. Can I please scan that? Move! Oh, I already have a scanner room! Oh, god damn it! That was a waste of time. That is exactly what I need. I need the modification station to craft it, but that is exactly what I need. You better not. Oh god. Stop. Stop bumping my steam off! Oh god. I have a new message already? Come on, I just left! Oh. I can have a plant! I'm past 100 meters as well, so I should probably... Oh god. This, that, this, sure, cool. Uh, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna get back out. Hey! There we go! That's what I need to get inside the Aurora, but I still need to make the modification station in order to craft it in the first place. Oh god, okay. Really? Get the fuck out of my face. I'm just gonna shine the lights in there. Okay. Let's keep it moving, people. Laser cutter. Let's see what's in here. I'm hoping I I'm hoping to find modification stations. I seem to remember finding pieces to the modification station in multiple places. I also remember them being kind of hard to find, which is a damn shame. Hello. And, oh god, battery charger! I am in desperate need of that. Do I need two fragments? Of course I do. Is that it? Oh, nope, there it is. Modification station fragment. Wow! I built my base right next to this damn thing. Oh, thank seconds. God. Okay, I'm gonna get out right now so I don't drown. Because that would be a real shame. Urgh! Wouldn't it? But, oh, and also, that time capsule that I found on the island, it gave me a second... Jesus fucking Christ! You didn't even damage me at all. You suck at your job, sir. Go play with that bite fish and leave me the hell alone. It gave me a second set of, like, all the basic weapons, and I was just like, I think I got gold. Well, that's cool. It literally gave me way more than gold. <laughs> um, hello. I already have a laser cutter, so I'm good on that front, thank you. Oh, God. It sounds scary in here. These sound effects are definitely new. There used to be no sound effects in here. Oh, I'm not prepared to go down there. I'm gonna just make a break for it. I'm just getting customization stuff. These plant pots are actually important because I can use that to uh, plant a lantern tree in my base once I eventually find it. Now I know where to find it. It's just a question of, uh, you know, getting there. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yep. Okay. Well, it's daytime, so I don't think I need this anymore. I'm gonna enter through this way, because it's closer to the vent entrance. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, God. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Okay, there's the ladder. Oh! Oh! 
That's just another entrance. Well, that's kind of useless, but oh. Jesus! You know what? I'll take it. I was really worried I was gonna drown. I think most of the times I've managed to drown in this game, it was from being in wrecks and getting lost and not finding the way out in time. Ah! Freaking hate those guys. Why are there two of you? God dang it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stay here. Oh no, except I'm not gonna do that because that's a thing that happened to me once in the past. I put the sea moth too close to the wreck I was going into and then I blocked my way out because you didn't used to be able to move the sea moth like that. Just like by bumping into it. But, uh. Lightweight, high capacity tank. That's awesome. I will take that. Ebs. Ugh. Ugh. Is there anything I can do here? Oh, God. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I don't have enough oxygen to be comfortable with this. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do a thing, and we'll be in much better shape. I, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Ugh. Okay. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh god, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Oh god, get, don't get stuck on shit! Huh? I think that's for the modification station again. Do I need another piece? I'm not sure. I don't think I do, but I'll check anyway. Oh god. Vehicle upgrade console. That sounds good. Oh shit. Okay. 30 seconds. Oh fuck. Please tell me there's a way out down here. There isn't. There isn't. Oh god, I'm under 100 meters too, so my oxygen's going down a lot faster. Oh shit, I hate exploring wrecks! Oh god! Oh, I need to upgrade my freaking breathing tank, because having only 75 seconds under here is definitely not convenient for me. There was stuff in the boxes, I'm gonna go down one more time. Okay, come on. Passing 100 meters. I know! Oxygen efficiency decreased. Did I- did I do this? Fuck, I did. Okay, I just wasted a bunch of time. I will take that. I will take that. Jesus, the sand shark's right outside. Okay, now I can craft the modification station. Oh shit, I can't go through there. Yep, yep, I know. I'm- 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 I'm well aware. I'm gonna head out right now. Oh god, okay, here we go. Out this way. And then we're good. I got the modification station. I got a battery charger. That was more than a success. Oh, and I didn't drown. Also, the uh, mushroom forest is out that way. So maybe we'll go back there and look. Look for cool stuff. But for now, I'm gonna actually build the modification station out and the battery charger right now. Because this way I don't have to keep crafting so many freaking ding dong damn batteries. Speaking of batteries, shut those up. How many of you have at least once forgotten to turn the headlights off on your car? Because that may have happened to me once. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. Big old we're fish. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. The attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded. Oh, cool. Okay. The life pod is at sea. This is the upside down life pod. That's right. There's one that's upside down in the water. This is the data thing that I forgot to read at the end of, of part five. So whoops, my bad. Intercept the background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. There's a disease research facility at 800 meters down. Yep. Cave system with extensive fossil record. I know where that is. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara? It's not called the Karar anymore? It used to be called the the virus that we're infected with. It used to be called the Karar. C-A-R-A-R. -A now it's called the Kara. Cool. Wow, they changed the name of the virus. There's a thermal power facility that is 1,200 meters down. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have been down there, but the last time I was down there, it was unfinished. That's what it was. 
I remember it's it was so cool playing this game in beta, and like they just kind of put walls in places where they were building shit, and then you go down there to check, and ah shit, and all of a sudden the wall would just be gone. And I would be like, wait, what? I can actually go in here now? And you'd go in, and it would be a building, but there would be no textures. It was just like smooth white walls kind of like this, but you know, unfinished, like textureless. And so I've been in there, just not after it was finished. <laughs> so that's, that's cool. It's done now, obviously. So I'm going to get to see what the final product looks like. I can make this without a modification station? Are you serious? I thought I needed a modification station for this. Well, we're gonna build this right now. We're gonna go over to the Aurora. Fuck it! And I also kind of want to build a modification station. Is that a deployable? Uh, it's not. How do I make a modification station? Pull and push objects. Yep. I need that. Nailed it. Okay, now I can get inside, get inside the Aurora. There it is! Okay, oh god. I need more diamond, which sucks because I just used the last of it to make the freaking laser cutter. Lead, titanium, and computer chip. That's all easy except for the diamond. Wiring kit, copper wire. I just need two silver and two copper to make a battery charger. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And... Hey, we can make a battery charger now. Let's see. Where can we put it? I will put it... Well, if we come in, it'll put it right... Fuck it. I'll put it right here. Yay! Now we're still unable to charge power cells like this one, but there is a power cell charger. We'll get to that eventually. Okay. I'm gonna put the battery in there. Oops. And charge it up. Hey! That takes power, but oh, that might actually be a bad idea because it comes down. I forgot about that. But at least it doesn't block the hallway. So wait, what am I doing now? <laughs> I got confused. Uh, right, we're gonna go over to the Aurora. And do a thing with the propulsion cannon. I feel like I should make another battery. Just because I don't want to get stuck out there with no sea glide. Because boy would that suck. Knowing what's out there. I need more acid troops. I got them right here. Passing 100 meters. I know, I know. Oxygen Shot the hell up. Decreased. Which way is the Aurora? Oh god, there it is. And once again, I'm heading over to the Aurora and it's fucking dark. Uh, I need the modification station to make pressure compensators so I can explore deeper biomes. Because right now this 200 meter crush depth is really putting a crimp in my style. Yeah, here's the mushroom forest. With the jelly rays. Look at how pretty. Oh, God. Oh. Ow. Sorry about that. Hey. All right. Thank you. Oh, God in heaven. <gasps> oh, I don't like this. Oh, I am terrified. Get me back to my thing, please. Oh, that was just a oh, drop off of death. That was scary. <laughs> you feel so vulnerable and exposed out here. Is that a thing I can scan? I think that's the thing I just got. I'll take more titanium. I will always take more titanium. Another message? Good God, people. Maybe while I'm over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the upside on life mod that I was totally going to go look for. Okay, that's the way in. Uh, oh, hello. Creature decoy. That's definitely new. Cool. I feel like if there's anything new in here that I've never made before and I don't know what it does, I feel like I should just make it on principle. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Go ahead and give this a listen. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class highly aggressive. Okay, maybe we should sit here for too long. Designator Reaper. Yep. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. I can tell. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. That's a bad idea. I've retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. 
If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. He, spoiler alert, he miscalculated. I wonder if he was on the, I wonder if he made it to the Aurora just in time for it to explode. Because boy would that suck. But either way, he didn't make it. Flashlight is on? Are you serious? Ah! See this? Oh, you can't really, but look. Look. The light's blue. That's pretty cool. Never noticed that before. I'm sitting in here playing with my freaking headlights and when I'm in Reaper Leviathan territory. At night! Oh, and that is definitely it. Please get me in here, please. 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 Oh, God, that's the worst thing in the world. Just hearing them in the dark. Because that is how my first encounter with the Reapers went. Oh, God. I'll have to, uh... Oh, shit. Can I please equip my knife? Please and thank you. I'll have to pull up some sound files on my computer to, in order to make this story even more exciting. Uh, and I'll do that maybe once we get back to base. Where the fuck are you going? I killed all your brothers and sisters on the island. I'll kill you too! Oh, is the sun coming up? Oh, thank god. Okay, that was, that was terrifying, just hearing it from the abyss of darkness. Ow! In every direction. <clears throat> you bitch, yes. Oh, there's two of you as well. Ow! Fucking stop it! Leave me alone! If I actually got, like, resources from you, I wouldn't mind killing all of you. But you guys literally give me nothing, so screw you. Okay. Pulsion cannon. Except there's a freaking other one. Hey! Jeez. <laughs> that was a cool animation. Let's get all this shit. Eh! Out of the way. Move, desk! Oh, ow, God, I, you know what? I really, 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 really don't like you. Please tell me that's all of them. I think I killed all of them. Thank God! Okay, we're going in the Aurora. Right now. And thank goodness there's a fire extinguisher here. I gotta equip that now. There it is. Out of the way! Okay. Nope, not quite. There. Now we're good. Now I would like to equip the flashlight. I might definitely, probably, absolutely still need the fire extinguisher. Battery! Oh god. It's a good thing I have a red suit, otherwise I'm pretty sure I'd be dead by now. Lab access. Integrating new PDA data. Let me go to a place where I won't drown and read that. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door in the data scroll. I'm going to have a seizure if I keep reading it like this. The door code is 6483. The captain's quarters code is 2679. I remember there being three? Three doors that required codes on the Aurora. But I was never able to find the codes for any of them. I'm assuming because it was stuff that wasn't implemented in the game yet. So now, I used to only have one code, which was the lab access code. I've gotten that before. Please tell me I brought the laser cutter with me. I did. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, so, I've only ever found one code on the Aurora, and that's to get into the lab. So, there's new content on this ship that I've never seen before. I forgot about those locked doors. The captain's quarters? I've never been in the captain's quarters. I'm so excited! I'm experiencing new shit already. Love it. I love it. Oh. This actually looks familiar. Hello. Black box data. 
integrating new PDA data. Oh my, unsafe. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go in here. I remember pieces of fire used to fall from the ceiling. There it is. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. High velocity energy pulse detected on planet's surface. We know what that is now. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transferred to Captain Hollister. Life pods 1 through 25 launched successfully. 25? What was ours? I think ours is 5. Entering planetary atmosphere. Yep, see, that's why I moved. Massive impact registered. Drive core shield compromised. Emergency bounce backs received from 8 life pods on planet's surface. Eight. Human life signs detected over long range at T plus eight hours. One. That was me. Personnel accounted for. Non-essential systems maintenance chief Riley Robinson. Is that me? Altera HQ rescue solution received at T plus eight hours to high priority terminal and captain's quarters. Monitoring equipment failed at T plus 13 hours. There's only one life sign detected after eight hours, which I'm assuming was, you know, we got knocked out. And then we woke up several hours later after everyone was already dead. So we were the only life sign detected. Is that our name? Riley Robinson? 